Hi, it's me. I'm the problem, it's me. Anyways, um, hopefully my camera does not die because it's on 50%, but y'all know it's been acting crazy with the battery. Also, I'm breaking out on my top lip. Like, I have three pimples. I haven't had this many pimples in a while. And they're all in the same place. And I feel like it's because I overlined my lips last night because I really, like, overlined them. Like, really overlined them. You know, like, it was not even on the lip anymore. It was, like, on the skin. I don't know if it's that. I really don't know. Honestly, ooh, I'm, I'm kind of scared. Like, no, they're pimples. Because I was going to say, like, well, I am sick, so maybe, like, they're cold sores. But I've never had cold sores a day in my life. Um... But, like, cold sores you can get, like, as an adult, too. Like, you know, you, it doesn't have to be, like, something you're born with, I think. I think. I don't really know, actually, how cold sores work. But they're not cold sores. They're pimples. Like, they have white heads and everything. I don't know. I really feel like it's the lip liner thing. So, last night, one of my customers from my old club... The very first club I went to, actually. So I've worked at three clubs. This is the third club I, I worked at. And so the this customer is from my very first club. He was there last night. And not only is he my customer, but he's also, like, my friend, kind of. Like, he's invited me on, like, boat trips. Like, boat parties. Like, they were trips. They were boat parties. Um, boat parties... And like, I don't know, stuff like that. But he does have a girlfriend, which I already knew he has a girlfriend because she was there on the boat parties with us. And, um, yeah, like he posts about her all the time. And she works at my, my club, so she is actually a dancer there. And I knew this, all of this I knew, you know, um... It was never like really like a secret or like I wasn't aware. I was never trying to get with this man also. Like this was just my customer. And honestly he was only my customer one time. And then we just became friends. And like I only had him as a customer that one time. And then when we would hang out it would be like the boat parties. Or like we would just like swipe up on each other's stories. I don't know. It was really just like an acquaintance honestly. Not really a friend. But yeah i knew he had this girlfriend i was never trying to get with him um yeah so anyways um i was excited to see him there because like i wanted to be his waitress you know but he already had a waitress when i saw him so i was just like okay whatever then i think like i messed up because i did see him like talking to the waitress so he already had a waitress but i still wanted to say hi so that next time he comes in like I will get him as a customer, you know, because he's a really good customer, too. Like, honestly, he tipped really well, and he he's, like, a fun guy, you know? He's a fun friend, and, yeah. Um, so I went to go say hi to him, and one thing about me is, like, when I know someone's in a relationship, or even, like, if they come to the club together, like... If a guy comes to the club with a girl, I'm always going to, like, talk to the girl. Even if I don't know her or, like, we're not friends like that, I'm going to make her feel, like, involved in the conversation. Like, it's not just me and him, like, talking, you know? Like, I'm going to establish, I know she's there, I respect her, I'm not hitting on her mat, you know what I mean? Um, so that's what I did, you know? I was like, oh, like, yeah, you know, like, I went on the boat trips or whatever and like I was just saying hi to her and I feel like I fucked up in saying that because I don't think he wanted me to talk to her I don't know why but like I don't know I just got this vibe like he just kept looking and like I don't know it was just like weird it was weird and yeah um and then by the end of the night, well, like, it wasn't even by the end of the night, but, like, later on after that, um, they ended up getting in a fight, like, a crazy fight. I don't know what happened. 
I don't know if it's because you talked to me or like something else happened. I really don't know, but they got in a fight. Like he, she was like Kola slapping him, and like, which like it was weird because like I saw my manager looking at them, and I was like, what's going on? Like, why are you looking at them? And then um, he was just like, nothing, whatever, right? But they didn't look like they were fighting. Like, like des like the girl was like um smiling and like just picking up her money and like i don't know it was just like they didn't look like they were fighting so i didn't understand why my manager was staring at them but apparently they were fighting and then after she picked up her her um her money like she went to the the um the locker room and when she went to the locker room, he followed her too, and I guess they were fighting again. And it's weird because like she was so ha like she looked like smiley, so I don't know. They didn't look like they were fighting, but I guess they were. And then like you literally heard her screaming. It was like crazy. Like she was really screaming in there. And yeah, and then he ended up getting kicked out, and so does she. They both got kicked out. I guess for fighting. I don't know. But, yeah, very crazy night. I also, it was really busy. Like, it was a Friday night. So, it was so freaking busy. But, the thing is, I really did not make that much money. Like, I made more money on a Sunday when it was, like, kind of slow. But, I will say that, like, the Sunday I had two customers that I already knew, you know, that were tipping me, like, well. And I feel like when you're in the club, like, it's really anyone can tip you good like anyone you just have to like it's kind of like a risk like i mean it is a risk to work there but like like talking to people like it's just random as fuck like you just get lucky like it has nothing to do with like sometimes it has nothing to do with what you look like if they like you nothing like sometimes it's just like random so like you're in the right place at the right time like you're not busy and they need a girl you know like and they like your service, blah, blah, whatever. Um, so that's why you should always like, give everyone like the best service. Because you never know who has money or like even the people that, okay, like the people that have money or say they have money, they're not necessarily the people that are willing to spend it. So you shouldn't like go to like the guys you think have money or like the the flasher like money flashers whatever because sometimes it's like the guys you don't expect like that tip really well like i don't know like i have this one customer he's like from mexico he only knows spanish and usually the guys from mexico they don't tip like at all like, never like they just don't tip i don't know why but they don't tip but this guy he tips so good, like so good. I think he would give me like fourteen dollars every every round, which like it doesn't seem like a lot, but it is. And his beer was only like five dollars, so. And then he would chug that shit. He would chug that shit, so I would get him another round, another round, and yeah. That was a good day. I'm getting sick and I don't want to be sick because obviously like I have to like go to work to make money. But like not only go to work, I have to like flirt and like, you know like physically do stuff I can't just go to work and like I'm getting paid by the hour you know I have to like actually talk to people Monday is my next day off and I'm super excited because then I can like film other videos not just get ready with me I just film these because I don't have time and I still want to film and I still love to film but it's just the time girl it's not there i don't know how i feel about my 
hair today. I feel like it looks not good, girl. Not good, but I can't go back now. I literally have like 30 minutes before I have to go to work. Oh my goodness. Also, like this side of my head is like so volumized and this side isn't. I hate that too. But I'm like, oh well, what can we do about that? Nothing. I mean, we probably can, but I'm like, I'm limited on time. And I feel like I'm talking weird because of these, like, um, pimples. It gets weighing heavy on my upper lip, so I can't even move it. So it's just like, I don't know, I feel like I'm talking weird. So yesterday was so funny. Because I've already said this in like another video, but I've been getting since like I moved to the town that I'm in I've been getting like Latina allegations, right? And it's crazy because my whole life like I've been considered white like they'd be like, oh, you're white Like even when I I like changed my last name to Martinez like whatever like they were just like no girl like you're white and I tried everything to like make people see me as like Hispanic and um, um, yeah like it's crazy now that er now everybody is like seeing me as Hispanic and last night it's so funny because I told this guy like my full name you know I don't know why I think I mean I was drunk but I don't know why he wanted to know my full name, but I told him my full name. And he was like, welcome to America. Because he thought it was a white-ass fucking name. And he thought I was a Mexican. So he was like, welcome to America. <laughs> like, good job for changing your name to a white name, you know? Like, that's so fucking crazy that, like, that was his, like, thought process. Honestly crazy. I don't know... I feel like maybe like the <coughs> the um the Latina allegations are because like now I have boobs and a butt and like when I was younger obviously I didn't have anything so I couldn't be considered Latina I don't know I really don't know but that's my interpretation of that that's what I think yesterday I overlined my lips so much. Like I said, and everybody loved it. They're like, oh my god, your lips look so good. I was like, thanks, girl. Thanks, boo-boo. You know? So good. <sighs> One thing about me is I'm in love with myself. Like, I just... Ooh, she, she just eats it up for me every time. I love it. I love it. Oh, there's a little bird on my my um balcony so cute i've seen i've been seeing birds lately on my balcony it's so cute <sighs> you know do y'all feel me but also look at all this money do y'all see this mm-hmm it's not a lot of money honestly it's only like four hundred dollars which is not a lot Especially when my rent is like 1600 light, water, my phone, internet. My phone and my internet together are like 200 which is actually fucking ridiculous. I don't know how it came out to 200 because it was only supposed to be like the, the phone bill is only supposed to be like 100 and then the internet supposed to be like 55 so i don't know how that equates to 200 and something like it was like 289 or something and i just think that's a ridiculous amount of money but i still paid it because i got to i got to like <sighs> yeah I don't like how my bangs came out today because usually like when I do them 
it looks cute but like today i'm actually like in the camera i look cute i look fucking cute but like i don't know in the mirror i'm just like oh the bangs they're not eating today but I love me. I love me. She's so beautiful. I always have to put some black eyeshadow. Oh shit. Some black eyeshadow on my eyelashes because I do have like, um, like powder and lash glue and it gets all in my my natural lashes. So I gotta put some black so they can be. You know, cute, 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 cute. Exactly. Um, and then I also like this color in the Morphe palette. This color right underneath my lash line. Done. I just need to put lip gloss on, but that's in the restroom. And yeah, I love it. My lips look so big. I want to get more top lip filler so that I don't have to overline it so much. Like it just naturally looks like this. Mm -hmm. And then yes, I do have foundation on my lips. That's why they look white, but it's right. Love you guys. Bye.